Whenever Renault Sports eccentric engineers put their minds towards creating a racing car, the rulebook tends to go right out of the window. And this new 210,000 pound mid-engined, 550 horsepower, 190 mile an hour RS01 is surely the wildest machine they have yet created. Powered by a Nissan GTR engine and boasting a carbon fibre tub at its core with a 7 speed sequential but fully automated gearbox in its tail, the RS01 is probably the most serious one make racing car there has ever been. Renault Sport even hopes to go GT3 racing with it in the fullness of time, but before that they let us have a little go in it around the former Grand Prix circuit at Jerez. This is what happened next. one at Jerez. Bit of a baptism of fire this to be honest because the guy has just told me that it's just about to start raining. I'm gonna take it very easy to start with. It's got ABS, it's got traction control, it's got a 550 horsepower Nissan our engine in it as well and a Sun F gearbox 7 speed paddle shift gearbox built specifically for this car it also happens to have the small matter of 1200 kilograms of downforce that's actually more than a Renault 3.5 single-seater car. If you can get your head round that. A lot, a lot of downforce in other words. Power steering, very light power steering. I haven't got, really got any temperature into the tyres yet. And I don't know this circuit at all. Crikey, it does go when you put your foot down though. It weighs 1,100 kilograms, which ain't much when you've got that much poke beneath your right foot. The brakes are just starting to come up. It's got a lovely, lovely front end. Quite easy to do. I'm just going to be a bit quiet now. Despite its multi adjustable traction control, ABS, and power steering systems, the RS01 is still an extremely physical racing car to drive. And that's purely because of the amount of grip it generates, especially through the high-speed corners, of which there are quite a few at Jerez. That also makes it a really exciting racing car to drive as well, even if it does take a fair bit of skill to get the most out of, which is something I certainly didn't do during my brief laps. But anyway, I'm going to shut up now and let you watch and listen for half a lap, just to show you what the RS01 can do. Well, sort of.
the time being, the RS01 feels somewhat undercooked in terms of its vocation in life, because surely a racing car as fast and good looking as this should do more than just provide support to an F1 feeder formula. But whatever its fate, the RS01 is a heck of a thing. And you have to admire Renault Sport, A, for building it in the first place, and B, for then allowing an idiot like me to drive it. So thank you, Renault Sport. As ever, you are one of a very unusual kind. Click on the video windows to watch a first drive of the Ferrari 488 Spyder or a first drive of the McLaren 570S. Click on our logo to subscribe to our channel.